Hello guys, it's me Glef back again, and guess what I have gotten? What? Well, I have now launched my YouTube member system. So now there are three different tiers you can choose uh, if you want to support me. And a fourth is coming, and you can see them all here. So we have a 489 PP, we have a 689 PP, and we have a 889 PPE from all these different tiers. So for tier one, you will get the Discord role called Donator. And for tier two, you will get to be mentioned in all my YouTube videos description and in my Twitch description. The third tier is that you will have the top donate role and I have also some more uh, plans for the third tier right now. Down below you can check it out, I would appreciate any help you could give. If you have two five dollars to spare that would be amazing and I am planning to add more features to these ranks. Uh, this is just a rough basis which I started on yesterday. Well, that's everything for today and enjoy the video on the OBS guy now. Hello guys, it's me Glefford back again and after so many requests on my uh, Is Rotten the YouTube Dead video, uh, I've gotten so many requests that people want to see me showing them how to start OBS recording your game. So I have thought that I will do a small series of videos that will like teach you or guide you to start making videos i will do one here now on obs then i will do one for editing that will be a very short video and just the basics then i have like tips and tricks how to like grow on youtube or like my favorite tips and uh, yeah this is the first part of the series so what you want to do is of course download obs studios you will find the link down below in the description and when you download it you will See, uh, have this window when you start it but it will be completely black here and you will have nothing in the scenes and you will have nothing in the sources so scenes are different sources so uh, I have a Minecraft scene here this is for recording Minecraft I have one Among Us that will show the uh, window Among Us I have one for the mainstream I have one for just Exalt or Rotten G uh, I had this Let's see, I had this Rotom G main as an example uh, to this video, but uh, if we can check here, I can go through here and we will have my stream scene or stream scene. And here we will have my main Rotom G one, which is just clean with uh, no add ons and so the stream requires. So, what you want to do is add a scene. So, you just right click and click left click and you can name a scene. So, let's call this Rotom G main uh, 2. Now you will have a completely black scene, uh, as I showed you, and you want to add sources here. So to add a source, just right click and add. And here you have a lot of different uh, sources you can add. We have a browser, we have a, a display capture, this will show you the whole screen. This is a display capture. And then you have a game capture and you have scenes and text and video capture device. So here is... Um, the feature you can add a webcam if you want the webcam on OBS but what you want to choose is a game capture so you click here and you create new uh, a new game capture we can call this Rotom G main 2 uh, here you want to take capture specific window so it takes one window on your desk not the whole uh, display and on window you have everything you have up. So you have to have Rotom G up started in a window. Then you press here Rotom G Exalt and you press OK. Uh, then you will have a window. So I can move this around. I can do whatever I want. But what I do is transform and then fit to screen. Then it will go uh, exactly in the right edges so it fits the whole screen. And also if you want to take away the window you can just uh, take it away like that but here is, that's how you get uh, Rotom G as a window and yeah you can move everything around so when you've added the scene you will have the audio mixer here so here is the microphone sound and here is the desk sound from uh, your computer so now I'm going to show you some settings on uh, OBS that is very useful because here you can start recording you can start streaming you can start replay buffer but 
like you can do shortcuts instead of just clicking that uh, button every time so what you want to go to is hotkeys here so here we can see start recording i have a mouse i have two buttons on my mouse uh, and you just click here and then you click the button you want to have so start recording and stop recording is a very useful uh, shortcut that i use and then i also have a replay buffer so to enable the replay buffer start the replay buffer you have to go to output click here on replay buffer and enable replay buffer and here you can set the time you want so this is a very good for cat capturing clips and stuff that happens if you want to save it but how do i find my clips well you go into output again recording and here you can see the recording path so if i weren't recording right now i could click browse here and then you can select where if you want it on the desktop in a folder or somewhere so what i would do is just create a new folder on your computer uh, rotten g clips and then I can just browse here and choose desktop and then this folder and just accept and that means that all the videos and game captures everything that comes from OBS will come into that folder and to start recording as I said before you have to click here and to start with replay buffer you have to click here every time so if you just want to keep the replay buffer on you just click here like that and then you just leave the OBS window behind and then I can clip now I can press my button for it that I've chosen now I will have two clips and here we have the clip basics for OBS I hope you learned anything and if you have any questions write them down in the description I will take my time and answer them because this is probably a lot of new stuff for everyone so if you want any clarification just write and i'll write, write and help you you can also message me on discord where i can show photos or yeah i can show you easily on uh, there so join my discord subscribe to the channel and put on the notifications so you don't miss my upcoming videos on how to edit and just tips and tricks for youtube